Hello, this is Abela David. In this tutorial, I'm going to show us how to set for records in our VBA user form. So let's get started. Now, I built this solution more than two years ago, and it's such a powerful database. So let's make sense of each of the components before we dive in. Now, this is the user interface of our user form. Okay, now this is what is called text box six. And this are combo box where we can select drop down and these are called labels now this is called list box this box and we have command buttons now when I scroll down there is a spreadsheet named sheet one attached okay into the user form so when we enter records in here in the user form I will click on the add record it's going to reflect on the sheet tab and also in the list box here so let's go ahead and enter a record now i'm going to just enter some few information so for the employee id i'm going to use ejc11001 for the first name i'm going to use tom and the date of birth let's just say on the 9th of may 1970 and let's see it's a male department he works in the sales department and the qualification let's say he's got bsc and now let's generate some email address will be generated from the combination of the first name and the last name all right so let's say the date of hire is on the 5th of september 2017 and is entitled to 20 days leave okay and let's say he's married and the name of bank is using is Zenit. Now the account name is a label because I've put in a code in that particular label that will automatically pull the first name and the last name. All right. So for the account number, let's just put in some numbers and the bank sort code. Okay. Now the pension we want to select. We can do anyone. Let's choose Fidelity Pension and the RSEP is this. Now, basic salary, I'm going to click on this drop down and is on 35,000 basic salary. Now we have the housing, transport, feeding, gross on pay, tax paid, and so on and so forth. Now, in this company, if two or more employees are on the same basic salary, they automatically have the same housing, transport, feeding, and so on and so forth. Now, these are, as I said, labels. Now, watch what happens when I click on the add record. Amazing. So, we can see that in this label here, we have seen the email address going through the code that is behind that particular label. And, of course, the account name, Tom Cruise, housing, transport feeding, and so on and so forth. This is amazing. So, the annual gross salary for this employee is one point one three eight thousand plus now <clears throat> we can also see in our text box tom cruise the name featured easily now even on the sheet tab we can see the information in rule number 11 okay so let's move back our user form so what i'm going to do is to click on reset system and we can see the information is gone just only this which i'm going to undo much later on now i'm going to exit the system and click on yes so i'm going to deploy my keyboard alt f11 which opens the development either that is the vba editor then we can see the user form here user form one so what i'm going to do in our toolbox i'm going to grab a command button i've grabbed that so i'm going to just draw something a little here Okay, so we can see the properties. So in the properties, I'm going to rename this. The name, I'm going to give it CMD, meaning command button. Then I'm going to put in search and I hit enter. It's very important. Now for the caption, what's going to display, I want to see search records and I hit enter. Important. Cool. So let's scroll up. Let's move this up. All right. Okay. Now we have this ready. Now we have another text box here, and the name is TXT Search, and this is exactly where I'm going to put in my 
employee ID to search for records and click on search records. Now, this name is very important. I must remember it's txt search. And one more thing before we begin to write our codes, I think I love to write some few codes. Now, as I said, we have text boxes. Now for each of our text boxes, I provided a descriptive name, which I will recall in the code window. So for the first one, the name is txt amp id, followed by txt first name, txt last name, txt dob, and these are command, combo box rather. So combo gender, combo this, and these are labels. So they follow one another. All right. So let's come to our command buttons. I'm going to double click on this search record, and that opens the private sub CMB search. Okay. So let's write our code. So I'm going to say I search equals to worksheets. Now we need to actually write it. Um, accurately, there must be an error or here, so we have to debug. So open parenthesis now, we have the index. So the index is going to be in double quotes. I'm going to put in the name of the sheet, which is sheet one, and I close that up. Close the worksheet dot. Then I'm going to put in the range, open parenthesis. Now for the range, it's going to be in double quote A1, right? Close that, close dot. Then I'm going to put in current region dot rows dot count all right like it enter so i'm going to say for i equals to one to i search all right enter and then i'm going to use the if all right so i'm going to say if and i deploy trim open parenthesis now the trim requires is strings so i want to say sheet one dot cells then open parenthesis and for the row index i'm going to put in the i comma and for the column index one close close then i'm going to say if all these does not equal to again i'm going to depend on that trim open parenthesis txt search which is our you know search box that i showed us earlier on dot of course dot text or txt oh, sorry it is txt not text txt search dot text then i'm going to close this and i equals to i search then what do i want i want a message box and what do i want to display in the message box i want to display um record not found then i close the single quote the double quote and i close that up then enter so if the record is not found what i want i actually want to clear whatever is typed in there so i'm going to say txt search dot text equals to empty string okay and that will clear the content and i'm going to say txt search dot text then dot set focus T uh, sorry txt search dot set focus all right so i'm going to focus it on this and i hit enter and finally i'm going to put end if okay because we are using the if in here okay so that is that will take care of records not found now let's continue so i'm going to say if trim open the parenthesis sheet oh, excuse me sheet one dot cells the press my tab key open parenthesis now the row index again is going to be i comma column index is going to be one so i'm going to close close the cells and close the trim if this equals to another one trim now in this case for the string i need txt search dot text close that up then what do i want i want now in this case before i move further let me let's see the object now as i said we need to recall each of the names of our text boxes our combo box and the labels so let's continue so the first one oops i did something wrong all right 
so the first one is the txt mid so let's go ahead all right this is where we are then we hit enter so what do i want i want txt mid dot which is the text all right then i want it equals to sheet one dot cells then press my tab key open parenthesis and of course our row index will be one i rather all true i comma and the column index will be what will be changing for each of the text boxes and each of the combo box and of the labels so i'm going to put in one for the column index so i close this now and i hit enter now the next one is um this txt first name let me copy that so i double click on this because this is where we are putting the code so paste this equal to sheet one dot cells open parenthesis one now comma so this is going to be two and we have to be doing this along so let's hit enter okay oops click on my user form and the third one is this which is tst last name and let's go back to our code window okay paste um equals to what do i want oh excuse me i need to put in uh, the convention right which is dot text that's very important and these are some of the skill we need to learn when you know we are coding in vba all right equals to um, sheet one dot cells open parenthesis now this is actually i not one okay let me conclude this i comma this one of three close and then make a replacement here this is i so i'm going to actually speed all this up and i will join you in a moment see you come back so I've actually split all this up now we have as i said the first one is the mid first name last name date of birth and we have combo gender dot text and we have it like that and of course this is the another one which is in column nine label email dot caption now because we are using label so that the convention is dot caption not dot text unlike the text boxes and the combo box okay so everything is fine now when we get to this combo basic salary dot text equals to then i apply the format okay this is the you know custom format that i want the pound sign then we have the exit for end if and the next i then we have the end sub routine so this is everything we need it's quite um, an interesting line of code now what i'm going to do is let's click on run okay so let's do for nancy pelosi the employee id is ejc11001 so let me just move this so i'm going to come to this txt search and i'm going to put now it is case sensitive you need to pay attention ejc11001 let me verify okay it is one one zero zero yeah it's accurate now watch what happens when i click search boom okay oh, it's giving me an error that i'm gonna fix all right i'm gonna come back here and oh i have to use message <laughs> and message g okay i think that's fine message box so let me click on reset and let's click on run so let's search again EGC 11001. So when I click on um, search, amazing. Can you see that we've been able to search the records and we can see all the information? Now, this is a classical example of looking up, you know, a value. And this is wonderful, amazing. Now, we can actually see that all this were not denominated in a particular currency. So if we have to factor the currency into this, so let me just you know um reset system and let's exit for a moment 
yes now let's come back here and click on search record now i'm going to put in the dollar sign so let's just put in dollar sign all true okay and let's it's going to take us some few moments okay so that when i run the code again i will search we'll have the dollar sign as the formatted currency okay i will do the same thing for net salary dollar sign oops okay and we do this this is quite an interesting coding in the code window so if you have questions you can comment in this section comment section below now we have factored that in then i'm going to click on run so let's search for another record let's search for david beckham whose employee id is ejc triple zero six so i so want to look up that records okay ejc triple zero six i want to eat the search records amazing can you see we have looked up the record david beckham we can see all the information and of course we have the basic salary housing and so on and so forth formatted in the united states dollar this is amazing so this is essentially how we set for records in user form of vb i hope you enjoy it if you do please give some likes and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can do so thank you and bye for now